dry. Add some milk. A little bit damp now so we're just going to sprinkle over a little bit of flour mix it in and then roll it out and cut it into shapes before we put it in the oven i've relocated you just so that we've got a bigger space of work to do so we're just going to sprinkle a little bit more flour on there and then some on the worktop some on my hands and some on the rolling pin. Because it was a little bit, I had a bit of a sploshy experience with the milk. Just means that the dough is a bit softer and it's likely to grow a bit more. You can make them as thick or as thin as you like, big or small as you like. But these are best done in our house in a ramekin. Push down and twist. And then it generally comes out fairly well. Lay on a baking sheet with room to grow because they will. The dough can also be frozen at this stage if you wish to not cook them all at once. I have doubled the mixture today. bread scraper useful for getting tiny bits off the worktop. And that can go in the freezer. This is what your ramekin ends up looking like. All right, mess. In the bowl for washing up. And now we clean up. <laughs> 